To tackle this, the OPW has partnered with Cork City Council on the most ambitious flood defence plan in the state's history. I met with Cork City's Director of Services, David Joyce, on the rooftop of City Hall. We've got a five-point solution to our holistic approach to flooding in the city. Okay, right? bring me through those. So the first one is to start using the dams actively in the management of events. Okay. Okay? The second one is to link that to a flood early warning system. So yep. using 30 uh, environmental monitoring stations, whether they be tidal gauges, rain gauges, etc., across the catchment to feed live information into this system. So we will understand much more detail what's happening in the catchment and when we need to take action. The third item then we're looking at is a warning system, so that if there is an event coming up, messaging system, warning to river users, warning to key stakeholders, fishermen who might be out on the river, etc., to make sure that they're aware there's an event coming. The fourth one, which is equally important, there is a certain amount of floodplain that can be used for what we're calling washlands. So the idea is we would deliberately flood this land during an event. That gives us even more additional capacity yeah. to the west of the city. This land is predominantly either scrubland or agricultural land, and obviously there'll be compensation packages put in place right. for so those farmers who's left. become participating in exactly. a concept water a water attenuation process. Exactly, yeah? exactly. And they're rewarded for that. Yes. And the final part of the scheme is in certain locations there is direct defences required. So take into account all of the other previous mitigation measures that have been put in place. Unfortunately, there are still some areas of the city sure. that are so low-lying, there is going to be some levels of direct defences put in place. David makes a compelling case for the OPW's plan, 